Yeah, what's up YouTube? We've got a bit of sunlight, so even though we haven't got any wind, I just wanted to show you a good close-up of how different it looks. So there you can see the frame holding the motor in and the chain from the gear wheel. Uh, obviously the very big, big-ish new blades. Got to zoom back a fair bit to see that. The dumbbell weight on the back, seven and a half kilos. And there is the little measuring device that I use to level the tower. There's the close up view of the bubble on one side, which shows it's a little bit out of kilter. And that is a side view showing how long the blades are compared to the length of the frame. There, there's the top of the blade. Very quiet today, but there is due some wind tomorrow. So in the middle there, you can see the electric bike hub, which is a 48 volt, one kilowatt, which has a 26 tooth simplex gear sprocket connected to it via the six screw holes where you would put a disc brake because this is a front uh, wheel electric motor. And there you can see the chain poking out the top of the drive shaft, which has a 28 tooth simplex gear sprocket on it. The swivel base at the bottom of the turbine, I stole that from a broken Chinese wind turbine and uh, it seems to work pretty well. Sometimes it moves a bit too freely but it's a work in progress. That's a close-up of the tail on the seven and a half kilo dumbbell weight that I've loaded on there to hopefully counteract some of the rotation of the blades and to also try and counteract not having a big tail. If that has to come off and we have to put a big tail on it and it works fine like that then that's what we can do. Uh, but that little tail works fine for using the smaller blades. Those little tails, sorry, there's obviously two of them. And that's a close-up of the bolts, which allow you to adjust the angle of attack of the frame if you want to take it up more to give yourself more blade clearance. As it is, the blade clearance is fine on this. So I've got it up at about four degrees. Sweet, we'll wait for the wind and I will be there for sure. Peace.